Well, greetings and salutations, hunters. Welcome back once again for the very first time to the Thoughts and Crap Show, where today, as per usual, it's your host, Anjo, here with part 57 of Bloodborne Complete Edition. Hope you guys are all doing well today. And on today's episode, we are going to be heading back to all oh, the oh-so-lovely... Uh, Forbidden Woods. Yeah. Gonna try to get the Tonsil Stone. Uh, just kind of make a quick break through the woods and fight the Shadows of Yarnum. And that's pretty much it. Although, we'll, we'll see what happens. Hope you guys are having a good one. Thanks for stopping in. On the previous episode, we um, basically just did some boss fights. Uh, fought uh, Vicar Amalia and the Witch of Hemwick. Well, I don't even know why I bothered with the charge attack on that one. Actually, jump over there, can we? Maybe. Possibly. Hmm. Thought he saw me. Hello. Crow smashers. When other toys just don't live up to the hype. Crow Smashers has got your back. Wow, these crows are just splattering. That's why I only get Crow Smashers TM. Hey, you're a foul beast. Call me foul, you're foul. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do that, because that's like the quick way to drop down into the... to the village. And... whoops. Oh, really? <laughs> Broke the beast. And the beast had his AI broken, I guess? Uh it didn't flow the way I wanted it to. And there's the booby trap right there. This is not a safe way to go, but Hunter of beasts, are you? Glory be. You know not the value you possess. But more's the pity. The hours of the night are many, and the beasts more than I can count. A veritable hunt unending. Not even death offers solace, and the blood imbibes you. Frightful fate. Oh my. But I'm willing to do you a kindness. Step lightly round to the right of the great cathedral and seek an ancient shrouded church. The gift of the Godhead will grant you strength. Yes, I'm unquestionably certain. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Now, I can't really get a good look at them through here, but... Yeah, it's gotta be patches. Can you actually attack them through the thing? No. That's unfortunate. Um... I think it's actually faster if we, um... Because, yeah, it's safer if you don't go through the village. Um... But I think if you already know where you're going... I think it is faster to go this way. The no, oh, this is the exit, All right? All right, and that's the house to the left. This is the town. Oh, I already. Oh, I skipped the first house. Six blood vials? Wow. Ah. Right. So, so this is the one where you can just... Whoa! Don't you dare. This is where the suspicious beggar is. We could just go back and level up. I am about to get a shortcut here. I'd like a torch, please. No, that's fine. No, this one's unlocked later. Right. Now there is the shortcut though that goes up to Volter, I think is his name. And this is like the main shortcut I care about. The other one's just kind of meh. Like, it's there, you know. Uh, I mean, the lantern's right fucking here. It's not like I fought everything to get here. Um...
There you are. You're Rome early, dear. Is anything the matter? You can always tell me. Mother will make everything better. What's wrong? Anything you'd like to tell me? Oh my, you poor thing. But don't you worry. <laughs> This will help you forget. Forget your troubles. Forget your cares. <laughs> oh, what is it, dear? Are you in a bind again? This <laughs> Oh, are you? <laughs> oh, my God. This. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, are you? <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my mother will make everything better. <laughs> That's a lot of sedative, man. Uh. Okay. So let's go ahead and intentionally die to what's his butt, who should be right around the corner. Yep, there he is. Hey dude, how's it going? Do you have to die to like the grab attack? No, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. All right, unseen village it is. All right. So let's go talk to what's her name. I think she'll just be. Oh, she'll probably be cool. She's honestly not that helpful, like her blood is good, but I, I mean if you want to send her to Yosefka's clinic it's totally understandable. Um... It is. Oh, I don't have the lantern equipped. Alright, that'll help a little bit. Uh, anyway, I was gonna say, yeah, it's fucking dark in here. And okay, we basically Oh shit. No, no. Uh we basically just wanna get the Oops. Uh Bloodstone. No not Bloodstone. There's a lamp here. Oh yeah, it's later, there's not a lamp here. 
Man. Oh, that does knock him on his ass. Real fucking nice. Okay. So it should be what halfway down. It's an open fucking hell, really. Let go. Thank you. Do not care about fighting all of these motherfuckers. Kinda mainly just wanna test that thing that I heard about. And I don't think you even need to die to this guy. I'm pretty sure you can just use um Old Hunter's Mark. Point is, you're supposed to encounter him and not, not be, not beat him. Like, of course, the other reason to come here is to get, like, the Tony Trists, but aside from that, I don't think there's a whole lot of other reasons to... I mean, we could... The other door is opened over here. Four thousand. Okay, that's nice. I don't hate that.
Oh. It's actually a bit easier, huh? Okay. It's not bad. Okay. Let's go back. is that one uh all right so make a beeline through forbidden woods now probably or actually how much do we need because like welcome what is it you i could just take out those two Very pigs well, like in quick succession 120 that's like Very fifty thousand. Well, so like we could get that real quick Like, I didn't make a note of, like, how much the bag abductor, bag abductor, abductor, there, why was I having such, such a hard time with that word, um, oh, come on. thousand okay okay at this rate I'll only have to take out the first one Pretty cool to be real. Still my ass. Yeah, so those two bad guys, the bad guy is a bad guy, um, 20,000, and then another 50 for the two pigs in the street. So 70k? Like, I just have to do that twice and get a level up. Welcome home, what is it? Very well, let me see. I think that is a real good farm. So Farewell, good I might do that in between episodes a little bit. If I have time to, we'll see how that works. Uh, let's go back to Forbidden Woods though, because if we're still going to fight Shadows of Yarnum on this one, I do need to hurry, and yeah. I would like to wrap this up in like 15 minutes. So I kind of remember the way, not exactly, but kind of, sort of. Um, there is kind of just a main path to take. Honestly, it's like not even all that confusing.
Yeah, I don't even remember. Was it this way or? I think so. Oh, this is the shortcut. Okay. Oh, this will be helpful. So yeah, inside the house, there we go. For now, if I happen to die, which is a very real possibility, I can just go over there, drop down here, go straight the other way. There's something up here, I don't remember what this is. I'm just going to grab it, just in case. Of course, because everything is fucking twin bloodstone shards. Um, yeah, it's to the right this time. All right. You can go under the tree. There, uh, there are some items in here. I still don't remember what the significance of this place is. Last time I did this, I just used the moonlight and it worked out actually really well. So that's what I'm going to do this time.
Oh, dude. Mm. Yeah. Like, if I see him trying to close the gap, that's when I hit the charge attack thing, because, you know, they like to move around a lot and stuff. So, in case I'm wrong about that, like, either the wave hits him, or, like, the wave and the swing hits him. Either way, it's pretty great. But, um... Usually, like, you know, if you're doing, like, a dodge and then punish. Yeah, the L2 is great. Knocks them right on their ass. Do uh, need to get going here in a few minutes, though. faster to go this way, so that's what I'm gonna do. Fuck are my blood it goes.
What? Okay, I healed. Like, what the fuck? I healed. The sound happened, the animation happened, and then I didn't get health back. And I couldn't find my fucking blood echoes. I didn't see them anywhere. Like, if you guys spotted them, cool. Like, I'll believe you, but I didn't see them. I'm just gonna send this back up. It's the only... It's the only reason for that. I'm just actually going to do this now. Because this guy's probably going to drop blood vials. Yeah. Easy peasy. I definitely hit dodge. Don't know why it didn't actually come out. Like for... Like before he, um... The guy on the left was doing like the vertical like katana swing. Like I'm... Like I kinda know... I kinda know why. Because like that's part of the problem with this game. Like from the performance issue. Because of like the janky frame rate, it also affects like the input latency. So
again. Just gonna do this now. the hell?
screwed me out of my fucking however many blood echoes I had I swear they were just gone I didn't see them anywhere now there's like a jump around the corner guy Arm, motherfucker Welcome to Bergenworth. We don't sell burgers. We get that question a lot. It's just easier to tell people when they get here. Um. <laughs> It'd be funny if it was like they had a gift shop. <laughs> Like that old, you know, the study building, kind of. Since it's, like, not really being used for anything anymore. They just have, like, one of those, like, rotating racks with, like, all the postcards on them and, like, different things. <laughs> and they also just have, like, a welcome to Bergenworth. Like, we don't have burgers. <laughs> welcome home. What is it? Very well. Let me... Y'all. Alright. Strength almost at 40. Hunters about the. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. We've I already. Do, yeah. mm -hmm. We've already talked about Farewell, this. Farewell, May. Okay. Um. What else? Oh crap, that's right. We can probably ask what's his butt. Right. I don't think he's gonna be pissed. I think he'll actually be friendly this time, which is if so, this is gonna be like the first time I've ever seen this. Cause like I said. Huh? That's not what I chose. What? That's the first lamp. The old Yarnum lamp. Didn't I select Church of the Good Chalice? Ooh, was that me? Yeah, that's gross. Though my tongue was a little upset earlier, so it's um it's probably just like my stomach settling. Mm, 
We'll keep the Icarus of on the ready. Yeah, it's so weird, like with the hunter on the tower. Like I didn't even know that there's an option where he isn't hostile. Oh. Speaking of things I didn't know. I didn't know that was there. Um Oh, that's like if you take a left at the beginning. I think that's just a beast blood pellet. Find my antidotes, use one. I don't have to, but you know. Uh is this the quick way to get back there? Did I never do this? This way? I legit don't remember which way I'm supposed to be going. I need to get back to the tower, which I think this is the way to do it. Is he just going to start shooting me if I do it this way? Maybe not. Fucked up, huh? Yeah, this just goes back to where I just was. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's in front of the tower though. I need to come back so I need to backtrack so I'm not facing the front of the tower. I think. Dark Beast Parl, but that way's not open. Right. Oh, this is the shortcut. You idiots don't know how to use ladders, do you? That's a no. Yeah, I don't think they know how to use ladders. Because right? this is like under the tower. Yeah, because this is the ladder that goes up. The weird sound effect. So he shouldn't be pissed. He should be calm. If what I was reading is correct. We encountered Dark Beast Pearl and we ran away and we backtracked so we didn't. Are you just gonna fight me? Uh, 
That was an awfully menacing way to walk up to somebody that you're not going to fight. <laughs> well, well. How did you get in here? It's no matter. What brings you to old Yarnum? I've no interest in matters further up. But you must not disturb this place. The beasts do not venture above and mean no harm to anyone. If you still insist on hunting them, then I will hunt you first. You understand me? Yes, very good. I no longer dream, but I was once a hunter too. There's nothing more horrific than a hunt. In case you fail to realize, the things you hunt, they're not beasts. They're people. One day you will see. Mmm. It's time you got going. But first, a farewell gift. I have no use for it anyway. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I've never, um... I've never got that one before. What is it? Surely I need not repeat myself? Go, I say. You have the whole night to dream. Make the best of it. What is it? Go, you have the... Can I use this gun? Because honestly, this is like the most badass gun in the entire fucking game. <laughs> I'm a little jealous. Is it the blood, or are you just raving mad? When the frail of heart join the fray, the hunter becomes the hunted. Oh. Aha, sucker. Don't fall. Okay, he didn't fall. Good. It's you. You're the beast. Just think about what you're doing. It's utter madness. Oh, he doesn't drop anything? Oh, I think he only does the first time. I already got the thing. Like, dude. Okay. Like, yes. It's madness, right? It's like, core concept of the game. But... <laughs> he shot, like... Thousands of bullets at me. Anybody in their right mind would have came up here and just like fucked him up immediately. Immediately. No questions asked. It's like, no, dude. I was minding my merry business. You threatened my shit and then you started to fire countless bullets at me. And then you don't even address that at all. When I come up here, figure out how to get up to your tower, and you're just like, oh, hey, how's it going? No, he knows who you are. He has to. There's no way. It's not like there's other hunters out here like doing the shit that the player character does. No. He could have been like, oh, hey, uh, no hard feelings. You know, done the patches thing of like, Hey, uh, you, uh, you know, uh, you know, you were a threat and some bad stuff and, but you seem chill, like, sorry for firing so many fucking bullets at you. 
No. No. He just starts criticizing your shit immediately. And it's just like, oh, that beast are fine. <sighs> Still. Ah, oh, I must. What is that? Was a piece of dialogue I have never heard before. I've never seen that before. So that was that's pretty cool. It's one of those little Bloodborne things. Like I did not know you could actually just have a conversation with that guy. Is very strange but um and i mainly didn't know because you don't need the brush you don't need to get all the gestures in the game like for any of the trophies so i obviously never did because i didn't have that one so um okay next episode we are going to Actually, let me check my notes real quick, see uh, if they have anything that I wrote that we need to do that we haven't done. I know how to talk to Machine Gun Guy when he's not pissed. Already did that. Uh, going without the badge for the Gate Cathedral Ward. Going to Old Yarnum, beating Bullet Starved Beasts and going through the bottom of the Healing Church Workshop. We already did that. Uh, getting five vermin offline. Ah, we did not do that. But we do need to join the league, though. I, I think? Do we still... Do we have any vermin? Because, yeah, you can... You need five to finish the league thing. Yeah, I don't have any of them. Okay. Oh, because they used the three. And I was like, we'll see if that actually carries over. Okay. Uh, okay, so we need to go through... To do Forbidden Woods, blah, blah, blah. We could do some optional things. Oh, lecture building. Okay, we'll do that. And then we'll go to Bergenworth. So... So I want to see if, one, there's a couple good things in the lecture building, including farming spot. I don't think we need to do that. Wait, that's just the way to go to Nightmare Frontier, right? Then fight Amygdala, but we already did that, so it doesn't matter. Right? I mean, we could just go to Unseen Village to get like echoes and stuff, like I mentioned. Yeah, twenty-five thousand for the for the hogs, and like ten thousand each for the bad guys. So like seventy thousand. That's a lot of blood echoes. Um, so yeah, what was his name? Walter or something? The guy that's like the head of the league. The league. Yeah, yeah. I think that's how you say it. I have it written in my notes like Walter. V-A-L-T-R. Um, which apparently we could have summoned him for Ludwig and Lawrence in the DLC. That's how you get the other two. Um, vermin, which the league is part of the base game. I guess just in the DLC they gave it, they gave the players an offline way to finish that covenant thing. I guess so that's cool. Um. Yeah, that works. Uh, let's see if he remembers, though. Let's go talk to him real quick. Because I don't know if that's going to carry over or not. I also don't know if we need to have that Carol rune equipped. We might have to, actually, now that I think about it. I don't 
think it's equipped right now. I think Radiance is... I think it's called Impurity? Is that what it's called? Which one is Radiance? Smith, Carol, Rune Smith of Bergenworth. Oh, so Carol runes are named after their creator? Adopted by sworn executioners under Logarius's command. Oh, it's the executioner's one. It says right there. All right, uh, impurity. Right, that's the lead one. Which is the better one for co-op anyway? So. But yeah, because at the end of the last playthrough, I crushed three vermin in front of him and then talked to him. And then I was like, well, we'll see if it carries over into new game. Which I guess the only way to know it really is if I already had two, which I don't right now. But we're going to be fighting Rom next episode, so I'm probably just going to use this. Ah, a new face, are you? And an accomplished hunter. You would appear. <laughs> I am members of the like any. When you say sentence, they. What do you say? Mm. Yes. And not just hunt. <laughs> no, the oath of all the and this do not end. Mm. He just says the basic shit. Okay. I guess you still have to join, even if you already have the thing. All right. It's not that surprising to be real. Um, okay, so I need to make some notes because this is the last recording of the day, at least for Bloodborne. So I need to know what we're doing next time. So on the next episode, um, we're, yeah, we're probably fighting Rom, more than likely. Um, because, you know, I did just get to Bergenworth. And we checked the thing in Old Yarnum, the Vargarver. Uh, anything else that was left in my notes? No, just getting the vermin offline in the DLC, which that is not happening for a while. Okay. Um, it's really nothing in Cathedral Ward we need to do for a while. Oh, we could go say hey to the new girl. Adela the Nun, I think is what her name was. Check those in your ghoul. Um, is there anything else? I feel like there's something else I'm forgetting. Oh, lecture building? Council stone? I think that's the only thing. Yeah, that's the only thing. Okay. All right. Well, that's going to do it for today. I'd rather... Well... Rather, yeah. They give you a lamp pretty quickly. Like, once you go in... to the lecture building. And again, that might be... a good farming... It might be a better farming spot, honestly. I don't remember if it's part of that part. Like, for part of the first part of the lecture building, or, like, the second part that you unlock later. Um, but, yeah, we'll find out eventually, so. Anyway, thanks for being here, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, sorry this one went on a little bit longer. I wanted to check some boxes, make sure we... Uh, make sure my notes are good for next time, uh, for what we're going to be doing and everything, because... It's probably going to be like three or five days. Probably going to be at least like three more days until I... Re eh, probably like four or five days until I record more of this. So yeah, I need to know what we're doing next time. Um, so yeah, we'll do that. We'll use the tonsil stone, go to the lecture building, hit up the lantern there, grab a few materials, and then warp back and go to Bergenworth and fight Rom. 
and I think that's gonna be it. So thanks for being here. Hope you enjoyed. I think I already said that part. Of course, before we get going, it is time once again for the outro, which uh, you know, it's where we do the special thanks, the uh, announcements, the um, all that good stuff. So a very special thank you going out to the current Farts and Crap Show members, the amazing people who make it possible, Navalis Draconis, Aaron Schick, WTF Corey, and Rogue XOX. Thank you so much for choosing to support the show a bit more directly via channel membership. Vastly helps out. Very much appreciate it. And um, in case you guys are unfamiliar with YouTube handles, just real quick, uh, handles make navigation on YouTube quite a bit easier. And that is why WTF Corey and Rogue XOX each have an at in front of their screen name. They have channels of their own, it's great stuff. Definitely go check it out when you get a minute, which you can easily do by just going to youtube.com slash at and then the rest of the handle, and it'll take you straight there, which is great because legacy YouTube URLs are long and convoluted. Um, handles are also 100% unique. No two are exactly the same. So it's another way to double check, make sure you're in the right place. For example, the uh, handle for the Farts and Crap Show is at the Farts and Crap Show. So, um, but yeah, membership tiers, they start at $3 a month. It's 10 cents a day. Gets you into all the basic stuff, including getting to vote on the series that get made here on the channel via the members' choice polls. It's the thing we do once a month for a full seven days over on the membership tab. And uh, that is how all the series going forward get decided. Just whatever gets the most votes becomes the next series. And uh, we did just wrap one up for September 2024 that finished on the 28th of the month. Uh, we will have one for October that is likely going to be towards the end of the month once again. And um, I'm not really sure when. It's going to be in the back half of the month for sure, which I'm... Um, Actually, pretty sure you guys are watching this in the back half of the month. Um, don't remember what day this one comes out, but it's like the seventeenth or something, something like that. I don't remember. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for a future announcement on that at a later date, because this is an approximation of future announcements from the past. So if you guys want all the announcements as they happen, and the bell does not work out for you, I got you. The bell does not work for me either. But there's three other ways you can stay up to date. There's the community tab here on the channel, the Farts and Crap Show Twitter, or the Discord. Always post on all three whenever there's an announcement, so regardless of which one of those works for you, you can stay up to date. And links for those are down in the description, also on the channel banner, but that is going to do it for today. So thank you once again for being here, guys. Till next time, take care, and I hope you all have a fantastic day.